Hi, I'm Bill McLester with CastCrate.com. We make cases for the Blackmagic A10 production video switchers and also stands for the switchers along with Stream Deck panels. Uh, today I want to show you our newest offering and it, it's a case with a twist. We've all seen everybody posting all their new cases and stuff, but generally those cases are a Pelican or other brand plastic case uh, modified to hold the ATEM, a monitor, and some other things. Uh, and we've all seen the 3D printed stands, and you may have seen some of the stands we've done. We usually do ours out of wood. Uh, we use CNC machines and lasers to do ours. Like I said, this one's a case with a twist because we're offering it both as a kit and as a ready assembled mobile case. So stay with me at the end of the video. It's a short teaser video and we'll give you a discount code that'll give you a case for the price, not much more than what the average ATEM Extreme stand costs. Uh, you build it the way you want it. They're easy to build. They go together like a puzzle. They'll hold up to a 22 inch monitor or you could put four seven inch monitors if you wanted to and you can build it any way you want. The panel is mounted in one of our stands and our, the stand is removable so you can use the stand by itself uh, on a desktop if you don't want to carry around a case and that. And then when you're ready to go mobile or go on location with two thumb screws you can put the panel and the stand inside the case and take it along with you. Uh, as we step through it I'm going to go through some points in that and then I'll show you some of the finer details and go over exactly what you'll get with it. So right now this is the big thing for this video. You can build this case with the stand for $125 by using the coupon code we're going to give you in this video. So think about that. You're going to be able to build a road case for a mobile a10 Mini or Mini Extreme, along with the monitor and what other accessories you want to add to it. None of that comes with it, but you can add it to it. And you can start simple and then make a pretty complex case if you want to. It's easy to add on to. But starting out at $125, you won't find a case. Most Pelican cases cost more than $125. So here's some of the high points of it. It's ergonomic. Your uh, ATEM panel is at the front and it's angled at roughly 40 degrees or so. And so it, there's no fatigue like you get using a Pelican case with a ATEM panel just placed in the center of a board and then placed in the bottom of the Pelican case. Uh, this is way easier to use over a long period of time. It's more natural. Okay, It's fully customized. You can do anything you want to it. It's made from wood just like road cases are made. If you look at most people doing large um, concerts and stuff like that, they're all in road cases which are made from plywood uh, with metal accessories. Like on here we have butterfly clasps which are road case uh, hardware. We use road case removable hinges so the lid is actually removable so if you don't want to use it uh, attached to the case, you can detach it. It's got two oil-filled struts for easy open and easy close without worrying about your monitor collapsing on your hands. You can make it AC or DC uh, battery power or both. You can add as many external ports, uh, external ports as you want on the back HDMI ports, RJ45, Cat5 to 6 uh, Ethernet ports, USB-C ports. Uh, as we said, HDMI ports, power ports. Uh, we're going to show you two different ways you can do it. The cheapest way for $125 and then for slightly more money, you can have a really professional looking case. It's strong, it's durable, it's built like a road case, like I said before, but it's also easy to upgrade because it is wood. Most people with simple tools, if they want to modify it, they can such as if you want to add more uh, accessory placement areas and stuff like that. We've already included a lot of quarter inch 20 thread standard tripod thread uh, mounts on it so you can mount accessories. We've been putting those on our cases for over a year now 
uh, cheese plate, stuff like that. We're not going to include the cheese plates with it, but we give you mount, mounting positions for the cheese plates. Uh, the lid itself can handle up to about a 22-inch monitor, 21-inch monitor. We're using a 15.6-inch USB-powered monitor because it makes it uh, light, easy to use. It's a monitor that we already had, and uh, it doesn't draw a lot of power if you want to go on battery power. It's modular. As I said before, you can remove the stand from the case with just two thumb screws. And then you can place it on a desk and use it as a uh, ATEM Mini or an ATEM Extreme stand. And you can attach our modular Stream Deck stand to that with one thumb screw. You don't want to build it, we're going to offer fully built cases in the near future. This is it right here. Uh, it's hard to see on the picture because of the contrast with the black case. Uh, when you buy a case, you know, you can buy it unfinished so you can paint it or stain it any color you want. So you could do a bright color if you're doing something that's really uh, in a modern scenario. Or if you wanted to keep it wood, it's got a nice birch wood grain pattern to it and stuff. And uh, they actually look really good with just clear coat on them. So you can see your A10 panel is in here. You've got cooling vents on the sides. This is one of our standard stands. There's two thumb screws on either side. These are the oil-filled struts right here. There's the 15.6 inch monitor. It's in there with a 75 by 75 millimeter visa mount. Costs $15. It's not included because some people are gonna need different mounts or want different mounts, but you just attach it with four screws to the back and mount it any way you want. You could literally put uh, four or more seven inch monitors in the lid if you wanted to. This is one of our uh, stream deck panels right here and there's actually a hole in here and uh, you can attach it to the side when you pull it out of the case. We're thinking about adding one hole on the side here and one on here so that you could place it and attach it to the outside, but I think most people would want to be able to move it around. Here's a closer up view. You can see how we have this set up right here. So you've got a quarter inch uh, by 20 thread insert here. There's one here and there's two here. These are spaced so that you can mount a standard uh, long cheese plate in there with uh, two quarter 20 screws, keeping everything the same. Uh, you can screw this in here. That's done with a quarter inch 20 bolt. That's a Camvate um, SSD holder and cable clamp. Over here, it's a magic arm. We'll show you some of the ways we use them. You've got lots of space with smaller monitors to mount things at the sides. We're thinking about putting a power module in right here. And uh, we're hoping to do videos uh, showing you some of the ways we modify them and stuff, and maybe hopefully other users. You can see right here, that's the cutout. That's on the $125 using the coupon uh, box. And you've got a nice clean cutout right there with access to all the back ports of the ATEM Extreme here. So what that allows you to do is, there's a boiler plate that goes on there with two thumb screws and that covers that up. Then when you're ready to use it, you just remove that plate with the two thumb screws and you can pass your cables through straight to your ATEM. What that does for you, that eliminates the need to add pass-through ports on the back. That's the most expensive part of building a case is adding pass-through ports. An average HDMI panel mount um, pass-through port is anywhere from $8 to $25 each. So if you have an ATEM and you want eight camera inputs on there, two HDMI outputs on there, two USB-C outputs on there, a power output on there, and an Ethernet connection, just your back panel can cost you some money. So we've come up with a couple of ways to do it. That's the easiest way, and it's upgradable because of the fact that we've taken the panel, made it a cutout, and then added a boilerplate over it, which is just a cover of the same type wood but larger and with two thumb screws. So, you know, you're not stuck with an opening. You'll be able to upgrade to a different style case uh, pretty cheaply.
But again, you've got a quarter uh, by tw uh, 20 thread insert here, two in the middle, one here. Then you have two on the bottom. And that's so you can mount a cheese plate to the bottom. Not everybody's going to want that. These cases weigh approximately uh, 13 pounds. And so you could put it on a heavy duty tripod. It'd be a lot smarter, in my opinion, to put it on a table. Uh, but they're pretty versatile, so you can do it a lot of different ways. Okay, so this is how we're going to offer it in two different styles. The least expensive is with the cutout that I was telling you about, and that's right here, okay? Because um, all you do is pass your regular cables. Now on here, we have a switcher, because there's room underneath the panel. You could put a um, mini PC in there. You could put in a, a switcher or a router in there. Um, you could mount batteries in there. There's lots of ways to mount the batteries. You've got to be creative. Um, we haven't built it with, you know, a compartment for battery, stuff like that. We've made it where you can attach V-mount plates. This is the second option, and this is the one that looks the best, but still is really inexpensive to add pass-through ports. Okay, this is using a Keystone patch panel, and this one's a 24 port. <clears throat> we put a 24 port in because whether you buy a 24 port or the next model is a 16 port, there's not much difference in price, and they're still the same length. And so we've got to make the slot the same for both. So in our scenario, we decided to go with 24 ports because you put uh, blank plates on the front of the empty ones. But then you can expand it later if there's something that you want to add to it. And the way Blackmagic keeps it, you know, coming out with better and better products, you just don't know what you're going to need. So this is a close-up of the cutout. You can see there's two quarter 20 threaded inserts here. You're, you can actually mount the boilerplate to the back or to the front uh, or the inside. Depends on how you want to do it. We designed it originally to put it on the inside and that's why the inserts are on the outside. Uh, these are the removable hinges. It's kind of hard to see them. That's the bottom part of it, but they're standard road case removable hinges. The lids held on by the two struts, but if you detach the struts, which they pop off, you can actually lift the lid off and lay it flat if you wanted to. So if you wanted to use the bottom of the case and just leave the stand in it and not use the top, you can do that. This is the one with the patch panel. We've actually CNC routed out the slot for that so it fits flush. You can see all the different ports. There's little wide areas here for you to mark it if you want to mark it with a marker of like HDM1, HDM2. Uh, etc. They're also numbered at the bottom. This is a Keystone HDMI port that we've put in here just to show it. You can get black ones, the white ones are cheaper, so I really personally don't care if it's white or black, so I bought bulk uh, white ones. This is a USB-C port right here. We also have RJ45 ports. Um, the power port's the only thing you're not going to get a port, so you, what you do is you take a blank cover and just drill a hole and put your power in that way. Uh, we're looking at a couple of different ways. We told you it goes together like a puzzle. See the tabs right here? Th this is called a finger box joint, okay? And so it basically, you put a little bit of glue on the edges here, and then you slide it together. Uh, you're going to get your tightest fit with some clamps, but you don't have to use clamps. A lot of people use masking tape just to hold it in place while it sets with some wood glue, which costs, you know, five to ten bucks a bottle. Um, trying to see if I could show you some more on this picture. Not really. So we can engrave your name or your website on top of the panel if you want to. I know a lot of people like that. You know, we have all those kind of capabilities, and we'll do that right now. Uh, there's no way to put it on the order yet, but you could just send us an email and let us know that you want to put your website or something on there. Uh, one, it identifies your case for you, but it also people that like to come and go ooh on ah, and look at your setup and stuff and it gives you a little bit of free advertising. This is our original cast crate. That's where the name came from because we built it like an apple crate, which is used a lot in production, you know, just for different uh, functions. And we wanted to be really versatile and basically stream out of a box. So we had a keyboard that slid in and out right here. 
place for our stream deck. That's our power switch, so we can switch from battery to uh, AC. Uh, originally, you had to, if your batteries ran out, you're kind of out of luck. But later on, we added uh, four battery port V-mount, where we could swap out two batteries at a time and keep it running pretty much nonstop as long as we had batteries. You could add cheese plates to it and add magic arms. We had monitors mounted to it and stuff. We kind of abandoned that, went to the plastic pelican case like everybody else, and but made it where our it was more ergonomical, where our keyboard was out, or not our keyboard, but our A10 board was out on front. But uh, I decided I wanted to go back to a road case style because we could do more with it. It's easy assembly, it goes together like a jigsaw puzzle like I just showed you. They just slot in place, you can't go wrong. And then you put the hardware, it's all pre-cut for it, so it goes into slots, like your um, butterfly clasp, which is what locks it together. You just drop the bottom in one slot and you screw in your uh, screws, it holds it in place. And other than uh, sanding it down, if you want it a little smoother, and either staining it or painting it, uh, you could assemble it in an hour or less, not counting the gluing time and the painting uh, drying time. So for 125 bucks plus shipping, you can get a case kit. It's cheaper than most. Look at some of the extreme stands. Some of them are like $170, and that's just for a stand. Um, there's pros and cons to doing um, 3D printing and also using wood. Uh, 3D printing, sometimes if you look at the reviews, there's people complaining about some of the parts being uh, fragile. I guess it depends upon who makes it and stuff and what they use for their filament and that for the 3D printing. But road cases have been around for years and years. And like I say, you go to any big concert, video production, you'll see lots of plywood road cases. The prices on our website don't include the patch panel or the jacks. It does include the hinges. It does include the uh, butterfly clasps. It doesn't include the visa mount because some people are going to need a 100 millimeter, some are going to need a 75 millimeter. Some people are going to want to add a swing out mount. We're not using a swing out mount. We are trying to keep it as compact and light as possible. But they're all easy add-ons. We're going to add some links uh, below. They are Amazon affiliate links, so we'll get paid a small fee if you purchase through them, but it'll help us uh, doing videos and carrying on with this project because we hope to actually come out with a few more cases. We have another case that we're going to be working on that allow you to have two 24-inch monitors and cost you under $200 to make, but that's a little ways down the road. Uh, if you got any suggestions, any comments, um, any ideas, you're just curious about anything, just post a comment below. I'll look at every comment posted and answer every one. We also have a Facebook group, and I'll post a link to that. And that's, that group is really just based on people that want to build their own cases and that. Prep, you know, hopefully with our products, but it doesn't have to be that. We'll answer any questions we can. So we're going to offer, you know, we're going to sell these for $200. But we're right now offering a $75 coupon, CCB75. You use that at checkout. There's a little box that asks you for your coupon code. I know most of us have done it before. And you enter that in, it'll give you $75 off a case kit. Uh, it's only good through August 24th because what we're trying to do is get a few of these cases out into the hands of people that want to build their own case and that'll give us feedback. And we figure $125 a low enough price that um, people will be willing to uh, see it as kind of like a beta test and give us some feedback. So you can go look at them. You can order them at castcrate.com. Um, don't forget, subscribe, because we're going to do some more videos. We're also going to do some live streams using the case and that and answer some questions uh, along the way. So please subscribe, like this video, share it, because uh, obviously we'd like to get it out there and uh, get more people involved. I'm going to show you a couple other things right now. So that's the actual case right there. I'm using it right now. Um, it's hard to get a good video of it right now because I've painted it black, semi-gloss, so we get a little bit of reflection off it. I used to paint all my cases in matte black or flat black. Um, 
And then I started liking the semi-gloss. Um, I actually personally like natural wood, but at least I can show you a few of the things with it. Okay, so this is how the back panel is. And this is how most people, even on the Pelican cases, do their HDMI ports. That's a pass-through port. So this is actually for an RJ45, but the HDMI and that are exactly the same. Okay, so there's your uh, socket on one side, and there's the inside. This is the waterproof, dustproof cap. But uh, People telling you that their Pelican cases are still waterproof after they've drilled 16 holes in them. That's only good if they've got really good O-rings on them and stuff. Uh, but do you really need a waterproof case? I'm not sure. I think it more as being water resistant and dust resistant. But on the cheapest case, you'll get a panel like this. It's got the two holes. It won't have all these holes in it. We can do those for you and we'll offer one with it, but there's just too many variations. We figured people, um, there'd be, we'd have to offer too many options right now. Now, of course, you know, if you disagree with that or you got some input on that, post a comment. But these are knockout holes. If anybody's worked around electrical stuff, they've seen these before. When you see your metal socket cases and stuff, they'll have these. This is cut all the way through except for an eighth of an inch at the back. So you can take an X-Acto knife and cut those out, push them out, and then just drop it in. So you don't have to drill it, and you could add as many as you wanted to, okay? So, but for the cheapest way to do the case, that's to just take a blank panel, take it off, and just plug your cables in. We've even had people post before that they enjoy the setup when they go on location, okay? Myself, I'm looking more for... Uh, expediency. I want to just get it all set up and go. But I wanted to show you that. So that's one. This is a cutout panel on another one I'm building right now. And obviously we've put our name there. We could put your name up here if you wanted to. We're going to probably charge for that because that adds quite a bit of time to it. Uh, if you want your name on the top of the panel, that way, if you're using the case or not, you'll have your name there. We can do that for you. And like I said, we'll do that for you for free. We'll just engrave it into the panel. But there's the cheese plate right there. There's a cold chew on it right there. I've got a 7-inch monitor on there with my multi-view on it. I've got my 15.1-inch monitor in the back, and that's on a 75 by 75 Visa mount, so I can just lift that out if I want to. I'm kind of cheating right now. I'm actually powering that off the second USB on the ATEM. Um, normally what I do is have a mini PC in the bottom, but now I've been using the um, Mix.io, which is an awesome app. You need to check that out. I've also used H2R Graphics uh, by Here to Record, uh, another good product. I like using this instead of the PC. As you can see, I'm using it on a Magic Arm. It mounts right to the quarter 20, so the only thing you got to do is buy a Magic Arm, and most people already have those. And so I can control my whole ATEM from here. Underneath, I got a switch. Uh, probably going to switch that to a router. What I really like would be a bonded uh, router. But I had a Terra deck at one point, and then I sold it before I started uh, doing this with the ATEMs. Two thumb screws here, like that. That's how you take your uh, stand out. I should have brought a stand. Let's go back to this real quick, though, okay? Because here's your port right here. And see, they just snap into the back. They're literally just push in, and then you plug your ATEM here. Now, we're, here's where your cost gets up. It's about, I don't know, $15 to $20 for a panel like this, okay? These are a dollar, dollar fifty each, okay, compared to $10 to $25 for the other individual ports. And you can buy them in bulk, okay? Um, and then, but you have to add a cable. So you need like a, a one foot cable for the back and they're on average about anywhere from $2 to $5. You can buy them in bulk and get them for like $2.25 and get a pack of 10 of them for, I think it's $22.50. Um, that's still way, way cheaper than drilling a Pelican case and putting in pass-through threaded mounts. Or even the ones, my first case is we use the ones that have two screws and you mount them. First, you have to machine the case for it. Then you have to mount them in there, and they're on average $10 to $15 a piece. Now, those already have the, uh, some of them do anyway, have the cables on them. 
but uh, this is a way more professional way. This is a, basically a rack off the back of a uh, server rack. So it's pretty much industry, industry uh, standards, 19 inch rack mount. Um, really, really easy to do. And if one of them fails, you just unsnap it, throw it away. Uh, there's not much to them to fail. You can buy them with a cable support on the back. Uh, they cost more that way and we decided uh, on our stand, we have a cable support. We're not including it with this because when we're sending them out with the stands at no extra charge, we kept getting calls from people confused at what they were. And basically, we have another panel that goes underneath there, and you use the two quarter 20s at the end here and at the other end, and then it clamps your cable to stop your cable from moving. They're lined with foam. But... Um, show you how easy it goes together. This is a side panel for it. Okay, that's it right there with some glue. Pretty easy. It doesn't come with the hardware like the magic arms and the cheese plates. Most people already have that stuff, uh, but it's not expensive to add either and we'll provide links for it in that. Now, if you were to get the ATEM version, the mini ATEM, not the extreme, it's big enough that you can either get it with just the ATEM panel and you'll have a little space at the sides where you can add more uh, hardware if you wanted to, or you can actually put in a um, 15 key stream deck and actually have it mounted side by side. But we're thinking that a lot of people are moving away from the stream deck at this point. If you're using Extreme, you already have six macro buttons here, and a lot of people are using the Mix I.O. But um, no matter how you look at it, uh, this case is extremely versatile and inexpensive. So go to castcrate.com, take a look at it. Before you go, subscribe, like, and share. Thanks a lot.